Good day, fellow investors. One of my favorite investors is Seth Klarman. And as we have finished with the summary of The Intelligent Investor, you can find the playlist in the link below if you wish to watch that. I thought that in this market, something very, very valuable to you all would be to make a summary of the margin of safety from Seth Klarman, because that's the core book of value investing. And I think that value investing is the way to go now in this, let's say, expensive or fully priced markets. So in this video, we'll give an overview about who Seth Klarman is. We'll discuss a little bit about his track record, his cash exposure, his portfolio, and to give a general overview of who he is. And then in the next videos, we will start with chapter by chapter, topic by topic summary of the margin of safety, where I'll explain what's going on, put everything more into a contemporary time because the book was written in 1991. So let's start with Seth Klarman and his investing style. His investing style is really simple and he explains it like this. Our strategy is to hunt for bargains and we typically find more when the market is weak and fewer when it is strong. So logical value investing. Here is his elaboration on what those bargains consist of. At Baupost, we follow a value approach that seeks out undervalued investments with catalysts for value realization. We differ from other funds as a result of our steadfastly long-term risk averse orientation, we'll talk more about that later, very limited exposure to short selling, involvement in both public and private markets, willingness to hold cash in the absence of immediate opportunity and 34 year record of strong performance. We refuse to enter Wall Street's ubiquitous short term performance derby. So as a value investor, Klarman focuses on risk first. That's so first focus on risk, what can go wrong. And then from that risk, you look at the upside. Secondly, Klarman has a bottom up perspective in place of 99% of Wall Street that have a top down perspective. Wall Street looks at uh, what will the results of G20 be, what will Trump say, etc. What will the tri trade war end up? And Klarman really looks at the businesses, at the value, at the margin of safety. And from there, from the business, bottom up, he finds best investments. He has been very, very successful at what he does. And therefore, we're going to discuss what he did over the last 30 years and his book on this channel. Now, his book, Margin of Safety, is selling on Amazon. Last I saw it, it was $1,250. A year ago when I checked it was 800 so someone made a 50% return there because it was printed I believe only in 1000 or 5000 copies so it's much of a collector's item now. It's better to invest that money into stocks instead of buying a book so as an investor as a value investor I hope to give you value by summarizing this book. But what's more important it's Seth Klarman's track record. The Bob Post Group is very secretive. He manages about 30 billion, 30 billion of money. So he doesn't need any new investors. He is one of the few investors that even with the fund gave cash back to investors because he didn't find that many investing ideas over the last few years. Plus, he usually holds about 50% in cash when the markets are expensive. Nevertheless, from the data points that I have found out from 1983, Till 2015, Seth Klarman delivered a 16.4 return per year. 16.4 return per year. The S&P 500 in that period delivered about 9.4%. So he had returns over 30 years, 50, 60% above the S&P 500, which puts Klarman into the basket of the best investors of all time. He hasn't been outperforming the S&P 500 over the last three years. And that's logical because he is a value investor focused on risk and very, very conservative. As we'll see later, he owns, he has 50% of his portfolio usually in cash. So he is waiting for opportunities and that leads unfortunately to underperformance, even if he is very, very happy with a single digit return in this market. And I believe that the investors that have 30 billion with his fund are extremely happy with single digit 
risk averse returns. Because when you measure performance, you should first measure risk and then performance. If you look at Seth Klarman's performance, this is something extremely stunning. Look at this performance from 1990 till 2001. So over 10 years or 11 years, 50,000 invested in the Boutpost group would end up being 131,000. However, 50,000 invested in the SAP 500 would, would end up being 237,000. So almost 100% more than what Klarman did over 10 years. So looking at this, then you get the stories. Value investing is dead. Value investing is for old people. Uh, crazy low returns there. Avoid value investing. Focus on growth stocks. Of course, over 30 years and since then, Klarman has significantly outperformed the S&P 500. But as a value investor, Klarman has suffered 10 years of underperformance. Of course, the important thing is what he did in 2001, 2002, 2003 and 2009, because that is what risk management is. And that is what leads to long term sustainable returns. Why did Klarman underperform in the 10 years? Because he is a risk averse conservative investor. Look at his April 30, 2001 portfolio allocation. Cash 48.6%. US public equities only 18%. Western Europe 4%, etc, etc. And then performing and non-performing debt. So really into debt investing 23% where he finds value. When, there is minimal risk even in liquidation, but significant upside. So the, he also owned securities in liquidation. Over the long term, he delivered 16%. So that's something amazing. And just think about holding 48.6% of your assets in cash of your stock market portfolio. However, it's all about character to hold 48% in cash. You need to have a strong character as we discussed or as Buffett discussed in his 1985 interview that you can watch on the card above on YouTube. So Buffett says how it's all about character and holding a lot of cash. If we look at Berkshire's current balance sheet, they have 114 billion in cash on 200 billion in stocks. So what is that? 30, 35, 40% of the stock market portfolio is available in cash. Deduct the 20 billion they need for insurance and $94 billion is ready to be used, applied when opportunities arise. And Buffett has been having this huge pile of cash doing nothing or sitting in short term treasuries at 2% for a long, long time. And this is what we hope to get by summarizing the margin of safety, the character that will allow us to invest sustainably, risk averse, focused on risk, bottom up over the long term. Because you see all these people making money, yes, in a bull market, then losing everything in a bear market. I see now some dividend yield investors investing on margin, etc. Because high yield is, I don't know, 8%, you can get a margin for 6%. So such crazy investments are certainly not what is sustainable over the long term. And that's why we are summarizing this book. And that's why we want to work on character on the mindset, because that is what has delivered and I think it will deliver the results you expect over the very, very long term. So just to look at Seth Klarman's latest top portfolio holdings. So 21st Century Fox, Chenier, Allergan, Viasat, PG&E Corporation, Corvo, and then 21st Century again. But we have to really check these positions, we'll put these positions and compare it to what he is saying in the book. So it will be an interesting period when we analyze what Seth Klarman is doing, why is he owning, what is he owning and how to apply that within a value investment risk averse perspective. So thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. The next video will be about the first chapter of the book margin of safety. So please subscribe if you haven't click that notification bell to get notified when a new video is coming up to see what's going on. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.